standard electrode potential in d block elements first we'll see what do you mean by standard reduction electrode potential we know that metals are electropositive that means it easily loses electrons and become ions now when we say standard electrode potential the reaction occurring here is summarized as mn plus plus n electrons giving m and this happens only when m n plus is unstable only then it can readily take up electrons and become metal we know that all the metals are electropositive that means the e not values that is the standard reduction potential is represented as e not m n plus bar m will be negative in most cases why it becomes negative because this will be more stable in the case of metals compared to the metal so the reduction happening here will be with very difficulty greater the negative value it has a tendency to get oxidized that means the metal ions will act as good reducing agents so here when we check the 3d series that is from scandium to zinc we find that the e not value of copper ions to copper is found to be 0.34 volt that is a positive value on the rest of the elements you find the values are negative why that only for copper it is positive when we check the case of copper we find that the reduction potentials are nothing but the total sum of all the energy changes that are happening when a metal from the solid state is converted to metal in the aqueous state metal ion in the aqueous state so what all changes are involved that sum of the energies will be considered as reduction potential metal in the solid state first it will be converted to metal in the atomic state so for that the energy change required is known as enthalpy of atomization followed by the metal changing into metal ion in the atomic state for which the energy required is known as enthalpy of ionization okay and finally this is converted to metal ion in the aqueous state by taking up the energy which is known as hydration enthalpy so reduction potential means it is the sum total of enthalpy of atomization ionization enthalpy and hydration enthalpy so here you find that the enthalpy of atomization and ionization we are supplying so the values will be positive but when hydration enthalpy is checked you find that it is always releasing energy in the process so you find that e0 of mn plus bar m will be positive first case that is enthalpy of atomization will be supplied 
ionization enthalpy is supplied whereas hydration enthalpy is released and in the case of copper the value becomes positive because hydration enthalpy is not compensating the sum of enthalpy of atomization and ionization enthalpy now we want to check which why some cases the atom acts as reducing agent whereas others are oxidizing agent suppose we are taking the question second question if why cr2 plus is reducing whereas mn3 plus is oxidizing first understand the question cr2 plus is reducing means it act as a reducing is a reducing agent what does a reducing agent do a reducing agent will help others in reduction itself getting oxidized so cr2 plus will be converted to cr3 plus easily what is the change happening here you know that the uh, configuration of chromium is argon 4s1 3d5 from that it is becoming 4s0 3d4 d4 is having the configuration according to hans rule you find that it will be occupying four electrons in the degenerate d orbitals in solution that is in aqueous solution where water is the ligand it undergoes splitting according to cfsc that is crystal field theory and you find that it forms two set of orbitals one with lower energy which is known as t2g and two orbitals with higher energy which is known as eg when it is under acting as a reducing agent it will get oxidized that means it is removing one electron and becoming cr3 plus with 3d3 configuration so you find that only electrons that will be left over will be three electrons in t2g t2g is degenerate only three orbitals are there so it is having extra stability t2g3 is half filled and so chromium easily loses electron and to get oxidized that means it is acting as a reducing agent now take the case with mn3 plus mn3 plus the configuration will be argon 4s2 3d5 from that if it is removing three electrons you find that it becomes argon 4s0 3d4 now it is acting as a oxidizing agent what does an oxidizing agent do it adds up electron easily to become mn2 plus what is the change happening here here it will be changed to argon 4s0 3d5 that means here the degenerate d orbitals will have total of five orbitals in each we have only four electrons before the reaction and after the reaction you find that it is getting five electrons which is completely stable because of half filled configuration so mn3 plus gets reduced to mn2 plus that means it is acting as an oxidizing agent now try these questions